hope it is. I believe it's going to be, and I don't know. You know, we've kind of called it birthright for college basketball, but I don't want to take away from the birthright name because that's for Jewish kids yeah, yeah, to come back to, the, to their homeland. But when you say it, I think people get the idea of what we're trying to get accomplished. Um, you know, I'd also like to somehow tie it to the Abraham Accords. Like, why not stop over there in Bahrain or UAE on the way over? A couple games there, then a couple games here. And again, just normalization of relations. And uh, so we'll see. Bruce Pearl is the winningest coach in Auburn's history and one of only four Jewish college coaches to take his team to the Final Four in the NCAA basketball tournament. He sees sports as a common denominator. It brings people together. It brings teams together. It brings universities together. It brings communities together. And, you know, sports obviously is a way it's brought us together. He rallied this group of Israelis. God has blessed us. He's chosen us. And with that's a responsibility. Just like I tell my players, you got to represent the name on the front of your jersey. That's Auburn. You got to represent the name on the back of your jersey. That's your family name. But you also got to represent God's children, the Jewish people. You got it with how you act, with how you, with how you study, with how you love each other, what kind of neighbor you're going to be. Let the light continue to shine upon you and shine upon all of our people. The Auburn team played a number of exhibition games with Israeli teams. They also got to tour Israel from the Western Wall, the Dead Sea, the Sea of Galilee, and many got baptized in the River Jordan. For many, like Dylan Cardwell, it was their first trip to the Holy Land. Insane, you know, just seeing the Bible come to life and being able to tour Jerusalem my first day here and, and just see the, the route that Jesus went on before he was crucified and, and seeing the stone that he was uh, anointed on. I'm just so glad I got to experience that stuff and just see the life that Jesus has, have, has lived and how it's impacted billions and billions of people, like 2,000 years down the line. After college, Cardwell hopes to play in the NBA then enter the ministry. His time in Israel is bringing the Bible to life. I can't believe I'm here, you know, after reading so much about it and studying so much about it, and just hearing about it from my friends and my family and my small groups and my church and my community. It's just insane to see it come to life. It's a, it's a big blessing, bigger than I can ever ask for. And I'm just so grateful to be able to experience it. And it's, it's a beautiful land. It's, it's, it's just so much, it's just, it's just I, have, I ran out of words to explain it, but it's a beautiful land. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Baseline, spread out, spread out.